got some sad news. I know. I know. Um, so basically, the drive was getting up too much for Harry. It's a two hour drive here, two hour drive back. We spoke about it at the beginning of the job. I said to him, if, you know, if it's too much, just let me know. And he didn't come in. Yes, uh, he didn't come in all last week. Um, he feels bad for it, but you know, I think we all know that doing two-hour drive, doing a hod for seven hours, seven or eight hours a day, and then driving out home for two hours is is hard work. I wouldn't want to do it, and I wouldn't do it uh, personally. So. Uh, you know, hopefully our paths uh, cross again. I yeah. really do hope he does come back if we get a bit closer again, because uh, he was only doing a 40 minute drive before. But um, yeah, I'm a little bit gutted. Amy's gutted, you had a little cry, didn't you? Yeah. Amy had a little cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if family. you're watching Harry, uh, you're going to be well and truly missed, mate. Oh, it's emotional, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am generally gutted. So, uh, and, and, and I'll say that you're the only, you're the first person that I am generally gutted about leaving. So, um, I wish you all the best, mate, I really do. I know we already had a uh, chat, uh, message on that and had a chat, and, but I really do wish you the best, mate, and I hope you get everything you want in life. Uh, but anyway, work must go on. So fuck off, go do what you're doing, you wanker. <laughs> right, gonna put some profiles up for this chimney. So the first one we've got is just a bit of box section, already scored up. All I do is straight on, get the profile mark to the top, so we haven't got a fuck about gauging it, which is about there. We will go, uh, I need a level, hang on. Take two. <laughs> Pencil. What's that? To move the skip yourself. <laughs> but what? Right, I'm just going to mark it. What are you on about, Frank? Just going to do some work. Go on, off you go. Do something useful for a change, will ya? Yeah. Right, so, I've just marked my top, so I know where we're going. I'm just going to move this gauge to where it needs to be. Shut up, you. Knock me out. Corner block at the top for a spacer. F clamp. And there, like that. We're good at the top. T clamp at the bottom. Oh no, I hate T clamps. You hate T clamps? Well, you wouldn't hate it if you didn't put muck over the top of it. Alright, I'm going to show you how to go over the top of a T clamp without causing yourself too much pain. Okay, right, so that's that on. Now what we want to do is just check it for plumb. Look, look at that. And we're good, so that's one. Second one, <laughs> we're going to go for a Blake. Um, so, Blake, what are you doing, Frank? I'm manoeuvring. Manoeuvring. Right, so we want... Boat level. Boat level. I think that's in my bag. Oh, of course it's in your bloody bag. Actually, no, Everything. it's in the plot over there. It oh, fell out of your bag. Right, well, I'm just going to eye it then. So we'll go. Right. Set square helps you balance it on the wall without. So you can just leave it on there like that without two of you. So we want to push it tight as we can. All right. Uh, it's so much easier with a magnetic level, but you know, hey ho. So we want to go. All right, that's pretty much plumb. Just a little bit out. So I'll just use my finger. About there. So we're good now from there. Now, <laughs> what? Oh, what? I've got the wrong fucking bits. Hang on. That's the right bit. Hang on. Two seconds. Right. So because we've got English bond.
because we've got English Bond uh, or, or Flemish Bond, the brakes don't work one way. They're too short or they're too long. So I've got a an old um, Mustang um, clip or whatever it's called. Uh, fuck knows. And you see it's got ridges the whole way. Whereas this one don't. It only goes to there and none of them fit. So I'm gonna have to just quickly adjust this one to there. So, the trick to it is, put it in, pull it back, so that the, the edge is just touching. You want to pull it tight without pulling this round. Tighten this up, like that, about there. Take it out. Do the same with the other one. Uh, in fact, it's that square, so you're up there. And then do the same with this one. So we're gonna go loosen it up a bit. So it literally what you want is so it's pulling on the profile but not pulling it round. And then you want it so this part here is only just clip on the edge of the brick, tighten it up. That way when you bang them in like that and you push them in, you'll see that they're tight and in place. Now, I can take that off, and that'll be held in place, and then we want a screwdriver, or you can use this set square, but if you see, it doesn't last very long. So, cheers Harry, I'll keep that in remembrance of you, mate, I'll never lose that. <laughs> So we'll go level this side and it just needs a little bit of adjustment. It's a very awkward height that we're in. So we can twist it. Um, a little bit too much. There. I can actually do it with my finger. But uh, then we'll go this side. A little bit of adjustment you can actually lean on it a little bit just to take the pressure off the um take the pressure off the screw and it helps you loosen it with the finger so yeah that's that one done <laughs> don't take it frank uh-huh don't take it he's alpha in you <laughs> he's alpha in you mate <laughs> Right, this next one, let's have a look. Harry, if you're watching this, wanker. <laughs> now you talk to my fucking Harry, man. Right? Oi! <laughs> right, uh, let's have a look. I'm just gonna level across here, check for the gauge. 1200 bang on. So I know that I can just put the box section on. Where's the other one? I had another one somewhere. We're gonna go, we're gonna go for G clamps on this one. So because you're putting on box section and you can't adjust it, it's easy. I put it down about six courses or just, just enough just to get to the top basically. So I've got plenty of brickwork to clamp on. Um, and it usually holds it in place a bit better. Um, so, and this one is a bit easier to do with two people, but my second person's holding the camera, so. <laughs> I could do that. Oh, okay, I'll oh, show off. Right, so we're there. All right, I'll just stick it to gauge, which is there. Look at that, that teamwork, hey. Can't let go. Yep, all right, that's that one on. So, before I tighten up the bottom one, I'm gonna check to see if I'm pretty much plumb, which I am, which means the brickwork down below that I've done before. 
is good and it's good that way. So I know I can just jump down there and tighten it on. Oh. And then it, uh, we'll just duplicate what we've done on that one there. Look that. And then we and then cut. No. Yeah, cut it. more hops. Come on. Is this the last course? Uh, no, we've got one more and we're done.
Queen Crow, yuck. <laughs> What do you do when the brick is big on the middle and pops up the line? Uh, like what do you mean? Like that end and that both ends? Yeah. Make yourself look pretty and nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, brick works up. I did this bit. Lovely. Show it off, can you? Yeah. Show, show it then, I ain't going to see that no. if you just go like that. <laughs> is there any chicken dippers? No, it's all good. Look, great bit of work that is. Thank you. Well done. Good work. Right. Right, we've got to fill this up now. But I've been told that I didn't need to make the gap this big because uh, it's going to waste a lot of. Vermiculite or something like that. Can't remember. I'll have a look when we get done it. Right, it's called Dunfill, and it's it's insulating concrete infill. You need 20 kilo bag of ag aggregate. What's that? That? This. Oh. That is. Yeah. So I've just had a look at, at the gap up the top, and to be honest with you, I think the 10 and one's going to be fine. I've opened the bag up and it's actually got the two kilo bag of dust in it. So um, <laughs> every bag you chuck in, you just chuck that in with it. Guess is it? Yeah. Well, a bad guess. No. Give it the old Westminster smudge. Give it the old Westminster smudge. Yeah, the old boss you say. But enjoy the boys. Down a cavity, you've got uh, pass me a brush up. Go out with bow and arrow. I've got a fucking, I've got a bow and arrow. Well, it's actually a tactical bow. Down, I'm telling you, mate. I'll fucking, 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 I'll the 
The Rebellion, that's what we're waiting for. Can you just put the radio back on? Yeah, put the radio back on. Right, and we are ready for joists around this area. We've got, uh, we've got tumbling in to go next, so I've taken out the joints because you can only use box section if you're gonna do if you're gonna do tumbling in. Uh, the only way to use box uh, to, the only profile I know how to use on tumbling in is box section, so I've took out some points. 